And welcome back to Home Built Help's Tip of the Week. Is the battery in your aircraft in good shape? Is there any way to definitively know that it's in good shape? And we'll start the next time you want it to. And I don't mean whether it is fully charged or needs a visit by your charging station to top it off. Is there a way to know whether a battery can fully deliver its full charge the next time you need it? Let's take a look. The battery voltage is an indication of the battery's state of charge. A fully charged battery should measure at least 12 and a half volts. If the voltage is low, it may simply need charging. This reading should be measured when the battery is at rest, not charging or discharging, no loads connected. This means your engine is not running and no loads are present. I mention this as I have seen builders turn on their engine monitoring panels to view the voltage and are a little dismayed at a lower than expected voltage reading. Well, that engine monitoring panel is loading the battery and will lower the actual resting voltage of the battery. Use a digital voltmeter with everything in the aircraft off before trusting the reading. If a battery cannot hold its charge, even after charging, then it is faulty. However, a fully charged battery may still not be able to deliver its full rated capacity. What is the charge capacity of a battery? This is the cold cranking amps value listed on every battery. Cold cranking amps refers to the number of amps a 12 volt battery can deliver at zero degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds while, and this is important, while maintaining a voltage of at least 7.2 volts during that load. This rating gives us an idea of how much charge to expect from a given battery when doing its job, like starting an engine for example. Making a battery actually work while delivering a charge is the job of a load test. The purpose of a load test is to determine the ability of the battery to hold its voltage to at least 9.6 volts while loaded to half of its cold cranking amps rating for 15 seconds. If the battery can hold its voltage to 9.6 volts or better during the 15 second load test, then it passes. We will do this test when the battery is fully charged, so before subjecting a battery to a load test, be sure the battery is fully charged. To perform a battery load test, we purchased the Harbor Freight 500 amp load tester. It sells for $50 and with a common coupon, the cost is closer to $40. Very simple to use if we understand three major items on the tester. The knob is used to select how much load we want for our battery. Our target load, remember, is one half the cold cranking amps of the battery. So how far do we turn the knob? The ammeter shows how much we are loading the battery, so simply turn the knob until the desired amps are reached on this meter. The voltmeter provides us with a constant readout of the battery's voltage before, during, and after the load test. Notice the green and red scales that allow an easy read of success and failure of the load test. That's it. You hook the battery up and start the test. Remember, the battery must be fully charged before load testing, and the voltmeter shows whether the battery is charged and ready for the test. Let's analyze the readings we are getting here. I will stop the clock and freeze the frame here. Remember, this test only lasts 15 seconds. On the left, we have the proper load for this battery, about 325 amps for our 650 cold cranking amp battery. 
on the right, we show that the voltage has dropped from its original 12.7 volts to about 10.5 volts. Remember, the rule is 9.6 volts or better for 15 seconds. Since you will hear a beep marking the 15 second timer in just a moment, this battery has passed with flying colors. A failing battery would register something less than the 9.6 volts. Note that the meter has the red area showing a failed battery voltage and is temperature adjusted as shown on the jagged scale. When the beep sounds, we remove the battery clamps and get back to building. In summary, the only authentic way to verify the proper operation of a battery is under an appropriate load, a load size to the cold cranking amps of the battery. And if the battery is good, it will provide you with a proper voltage under this load. That's why the load tester is the best way to test a battery for real world applications. Unless you're on your way to Harbor Freight for a load tester, back to building.